um, this is a continuation of uh, previous video on control system lab so um, what we did in discuss in previous video is that we have to design um, to do um, analysis and design a controller so that we can meet our specification now if you look at here so uh, we does, uh, just discussed that we have two types of um, uh, response here when we discuss the time response what we did actually we give some input which is actually a step input with some uh, magnitude for example C final is the magnitude that is given to the system and after that uh, the output of the system behaves something like that it has two parts one is known as transient other is known as steady state so steady state part is the one where your system settles within two percent of the final value that system will be reached and before that and this area is known as transient part now um, we have uh, um, different uh, properties here are specification that we will normally find these specification and use that to design a controller now look here first one is known as rise time that is if you take the 10 percent of the uh, final value to the 90 percent the time it took is known as rise time similarly you have uh, uh, peak time the, uh, you have to calculate the time that is from 0 to is the time where you get the maximum magnitude so then you have a steady state time that start from 0 to TS is the time when you your response uh, enter within the 2% of the final value so 2% means that either you are 2% less the final value or you are greater than the final value which is the first one and when you calculate this time is known as steady state time now the another important uh, thing that we discuss is that uh, uh, you when you have a maximum value and you get uh, a value above that maximum value if you take the ratio of this this is known as maximum overshoot okay so it is start from your maximum value uh, to the final value so if you take this this is known as uh, overshoot and normally we calculate in terms of percentage now uh, another thing that is important and the last one is the uh, when you reach the steady state then you have to calculate uh, what is the value you are getting from here so is there a difference in the final value and the reference you set if there is a dis difference and difference is constant that difference is known as steady state error so what is steady state error for example you want to reach C final but you are not uh, touching C final but you are less than C final or more than C final when you have that value that is known as steady state error okay. so these are the formulas that we discussed now we we did a task here and we just uh, calculate the use the MATLAB uh, to calculate the response and look at the the specification. Um, this lab is important because uh, you know that this uh, for time analysis we have rise time, peak time, overshoot, and settling time. Uh, these are actually used to become the specification of the system so that we can. Uh, define some specification on which we will design the control now the first question that is asked in this ad lab so why you do why there is no overshoot in G3 so you, you can find this answer uh, because when you look at the response characteristics where we have <coughs> if you remember uh, we do have uh, critical dam under dam and over dam so you have to look the definition and then look compare the responses you will get the result why you have this thing 
Now uh, the task 2 which is very important and this is the first task where we are going to design a controller. Now this task is to find the value of k so that we have this block diagram for a system with some input RFS and output CFS. Now we are giving some specification on based on these specification we have to design three controllers. So for example first control is to find the value of k so that our shoot is 10 percent and the second is define the value of k for which the settling time is 5 second similarly find the value of k for which the rise time is 1 second ok now mm, mm, assume that uh, we, we just uh, want to do the second bit how we do it so let's move to the MATLAB to look how we solve this lab so this is code for lab uh, 4 so first of all clear all close all and see th these three commands actually first command will clear your workspace uh, close all means that if there's any um, MATLAB file figure is open you will close it CLC means that you will clear your command window now task 1 where first we have to define the transfer function so what I did I start with S and define all four transfer functions after that I plot all the step responses just given the photo and give the legend but um, when you see what is the when I did that there's an issue I told you look here so therefore but um, it's not very clear how four behaves so uh, but uh, when you see this you can just right click on the figure and there's a window uh, where you can select the grid on and also you do some characteristics where you find peak value so look here these are peak values of all the four you just click on it it gives you this is for G1 peak value is 1.33 overshoot is uh, 32.9 percent at the time is 1.11 so this is the peak time this is our shoot and this is the peak amplitude that is away from one okay so you can uh, remove this again okay, delete this easily you just pick this you see it similarly for this one and there's no overshoot for the third one now uh, you also look at other characteristics for example settling time so look here g4 settling time is 45.5 second but g2 is 2.69 it's very fast okay g3 is 3 point seven. so you can see this but uh, this is very um, what you say uh, not clear so we can do a little uh, I give I create another figure with subplotting uh, where 2 by 2 means that I can plot 4 I can make 4 regions so what I did 1 2 3 4 so it makes 4 regions so uh, this is the first window this is the second window third window and four window so on a single figure I make 4 windows and I use step response I make the legends and grid on here so when I do that to run that uh, I have something like this look here it's very nice and very clear now we have uh, this is for G1 G2 G3 G4 now it's very easy to compare look here um, now this magnitude is uh, and the timing is different very important to note why because some uh, system settles uh, uh, very fast and some took some extra time for settling for example here you have time in second so uh, you can do this thing here you just right click on air in the properties just uh, select the peak now peak of this system is very much clear you just can move this here and there 
also maximize the figure so that you clearly see the peak response you can click on here peak response and it's very easy to compare all the peak responses for example here peak response so it's a zero hour shoot okay similarly here peak response so this is the way you can compare all them. Similarly, you can look at settling time. You can look at uh, price time. You also include uh, steady state. So this is the way you can easily uh, look at the response information on the graph okay now this is the one way of doing it and you can remove it just right click on it and delete it right click on it and delete it or right click on it and go to statistics just uncheck these easily remove all these characteristics okay so this is the way you can uh, analyze the response in terms of its properties and that property is based on the time analysis now um, we can do this thing in command window are using commands and command is step info this is the command that we can use so just I put G1 so look here it will give me in uh, detail information on price time settling time for G1 similarly you can do for G2 and you can look at instead of graph you can get this thing on command as well so um, if I make um, same thing and I put uh, S is equal to so it makes a structure here so if you know that from in structure to access any point you just have to put dot and then write the variable name for example write time and you just enter it you easily calculate the write time so this is the way you can uh, do these things and then uh, I told you I just do the second task feedback and then I design a controller for settling time and just I run the loop and I make a, a T count and I just uh, look at the possible values of the K what I have to do I have to do hit and try and so that I use a loop and I just check all the values of K that start from 1 to 100 with sampling uh, or unit time is 0.1 so that I can divide samples into around 1000 values of k and check for each value that they satisfy the settling time condition that is is equal to or less than five seconds and i just don't want it to be very fast i just want it uh, near five seconds so that way make a condition here and uh, the value of k that do it i just store in kt after that i will plot it so what I get for this result I get this thing look here so if I look at the settling time so the settling time is 4.98 which is well in my specification so uh, this is the way you can design the controller and if I want to look at the controller value that give me this uh, result so this is 3.4 so 
so this is the value that gives me the result so I use the break so that I can go out from the loop when I calculate the first value so uh, this is the way you can uh, use it and uh, solve your uh, this current lab thank you